I might talk a little bit about my, it sort of relates to my own plays. I've got two hashtags, uh, CD Walk and uh, Ruins HE, or actually I've got three. The Ruins is um, the Ruins of Higher Education, imagined in some future sci-fi. Uh, the Fortress University has crumbled. Or Siege K is another one. That's the, there was a siege of uh, Candle Castle that was the Fortress University. This, this, um, this again is science fiction, but it was like based on lockdown around about that time. Um, there'll be more. I'll explain that a bit more later on. But the 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 relevance of this today is about this rip-off degrees um, story that the prime minister has started. Uh, because what what I'd notice and what lends itself to a drama at some point is that online learning has been completely ignored. I would say. Uh, not mentioned in the Commons or the articles in the Telegraph and Daily Mail that started it all. Um, there will be a, a website by the end of the year from UCAS. So if you go there looking for a, information on degrees, you'll get information about apprenticeships as well. Uh which is which is great. I I I I think all the technical, technology, education training that they're they're talking about, that's a very good idea. Um, but I actually I actually thought the Sun had some some reasonable points, when they were going on about um, the the actual training for construction industry. Um, anyway, I'm going going a little bit off the point because what I wanted to talk about was the. Uh, the Times, this was on Tuesday, July 18th, page 7. As far as I, I know, this was the first mention of, of online as part of this discussion. Uh, universities could have to pay more than £600 million in refunds for online teaching in the pandemic after a High Court ruling. More than 120,000 students have signed on to the mass litigation and um, the, ju the judge cast doubt on UCL's argument that internal complaints process could deal with the scale of the claims. The judge delayed further action for eight months, encouraging UCL to settle outside of court. Well, um, that's the only mention of it. So, uh, okay, if, if foundation years are bad value and... Um, people should be very careful before signing on to a course and so forth. The, there may be possible routes through doing MOOCs or online courses, um, credentials or bits and pieces that fit together to qualify for something else. Um, I'm doing, since I started this show, uh, which I, I, I started sitting in for the storyteller and I've gradually got more into the drama scene, let's say. So I'm doing an... Um, an MA, no, well, a sort of um, a modules towards the, an introduction to an MA, but it's, it comes from edX and Cambridge University, and there's only one module that I've paid for, so I've done several modules that I regard as a sort of sampler thing, um, and one that I've concentrated on. Um, so I, d I don't see why foundation years couldn't work in that sort of way and they will they will be essentially quite a lot cheaper the 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 there is an investment in um proper design of courses and training for the staff to set them up but there's no there's no in this in this statement um as it's written here and as i say this is the only bit i've found about about online teaching it just says there will have to be refunds because it was online um it may just be that all of the online teaching was improvised in a panic without any resource or organization and it was all very bad um but during the lockdown 
in other areas, um, quite a lot of what moved online worked out okay. So working from home and so forth. Um, the, whole, the whole story seems to be the campus is now back to normal and anything online was a bit of a disaster. Um, meanwhile, in Exeter, uh, uh, eduX as a hashtag, uh, I do just just checking that out or track it down on on Twitter because there are there are conversations going on which may may result in something being funded and organised more long term. <laughs>